All right, I got a request. Just wanted to know what I have in my HF bag. This bag is what I keep out in the truck. Um, most of my videos when I'm out in the field, this this is what I'm using. So I've got way too much stuff in this bag just for first off. I mean, um, so you won't need all of this that I got. But let's just start with the top here. Right off the bat is my 40 meter yo-yo antenna that I recently built. I wanted a, a quick deployable 40 meter antenna for my Invis my Invis uh, contacts, Invis training. All right, I try to stay organized because I'm not organized in real life. So this bag is trying to be organized a little bit. So just in here, I've got 25 feet of coax. Really don't need much more than that for doing Invis stuff. All right, so here's where we get repetitive. Another 40 meter antenna that I had built a while ago. All right, another antenna. This is an off-center fed dipole, um, 80 to 10 meters. This I keep with me all the time in the bag. If I set up for a semi-permanent location, um, this is going up. That way I can jump from band to band to band. I don't have to pull the antenna down. So it's good to have an off-center fed dipole with you where you don't have to pull the antennas up and down to change bands. All right. And here's the Zygu 6100, which I've used quite a bit. Side pocket here. I've got the mic and I've got the data cable because mainly I do data modes. So that's what's in there. Another antenna. So this is the QRP guys, uh, no tune in fed half wave antenna and I've got 40 meters, uh, 40 meters of wire on here. So this one does 40 meters. Do I need those many antennas? No, not really. All right, for my juice, got, well, let's see what it is. A nine amp hour, 12 volt bino battery with a Jenison charge controller on top. The tape's just holding the wires in place. Um, that way I can, if I need to run 10 watts with the Zygu, I got a 12 volt power supply to do that. All right, but since I have a 12 volt power supply, I need to have a way to charge it. And I guess I'm going with what comes out first. The Evol Maestro 3 laptop. So you'll see me with this, and you'll see me with the Dell Latitude. It's the 7212 tablet also, so. I go in between those two. But I don't carry them both at the same time. All right, to charge, to charge the batteries, I have top solar, uh, 60 watt solar panel. It's in this bag. All right. Then we got our other pockets here. I got some carabiners on this thing. You never know when you might need some carabiners. All right, this bag here is basically just more cables. Um, got a GPS dongle in there and some other stuff. Actually, some, a lot of that was for the Microsoft Surface Pro when I was using it. All right, this is my another power bag, which actually has a three amp hour bino battery in it, some cables, um, another charge controller for this one here. So, and all of my power supply stuff. Another bag full of rope. Stuff to pull the antenna up. I have more than I need for cordage. Um, I can have another small bag with dual post BNC connectors, some adapters. Okay, so I've got a bag with that. I broke some of them dual post BNC uh, connectors, so it's good to have an extra one since that's the kind of antennas I'm mainly using. Run off the dual post. Then this inside bag here, I've got more cables. So, 
got a amp meter, watt meter. Got some just multiple cables that I've used. Like I said, I don't need all of this stuff in here, but I got it in here. Um, I do have the cable that I use to charge the Evolve. So that's in here. And then that's about it. So that's what I carry with me all the time in the truck for my HF setup.